Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Picker Steve again. All right, my neighbor gave me two junk air compressors. It's cleaning out his garage. I don't know if you can see it. He's got a three car garage over there, it's full of junk. He's trying to clean it out. So he said, I think you can make one into two. This one, I think, has got a bad regulator switch. And then I think the motor's junk in this one. So I'm wondering if we could take this switch, put it on here. And that leads me to my next problem. Here's my air compressor. It's a Husky. She's 20 years old. I bought a Home Depot like 20 years ago. It's 150 bucks back in the day. I think these things are like three bills now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Can you hear that pissing noise? It's been leaking for like five years. I took it all apart, re-doped uh, all the fittings, and it's still leaking. So I'm wondering if I can fix up that red one and make this into an expansion tank. Stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. All right, so I actually got this compressor running. Took the um, air pressure switch regulator apart and found that a mason bee had gotten in there and neutralized one of the pressure switches, or the spring, rather. So I took the other regulator off the other one to do a demonstration. Um, this little spring right in here. Well, there was a hole on right there and a mason bee had built a nest in there and neutralized the spring so cleaned it out blew it out compressed air wired it back up fired it up and it was doing its job but the only problem the only problem after that was i found several air leaks and i replumbed um some of the plumbing with teflon tape right there right there and um that one just needed to be tightened down so all right we're making progress so now i got a good air compressor and I took my Husky and just tore it down. And I'm going to use some of the parts and pieces from the other air compressors. I get some risers and stuff here. But I'm on my way to the hardware store to grab a few things. And then we'll get this thing built. And um, I'll show you the results when I get back. Thanks. Okay, YouTube, I'm back. All right, so I've got this thing plumbed up. And what I did here was I stubbed up. Uh, quarter inch nipple here. That's a four inch. Can anybody tell me why all nipples are tapered? I don't have any idea why. And I have coupler, quarter inch coupler here, and male um, air chuck. So that's going to be my air supply. And then over here, uh, I had to get a three quarter inch coupler here. Uh, half inch nipple, also tapered. I have no idea why. And that goes up into um, the air chocks from the DeWalt compressor. That was the yellow compressor. I actually like these dials because they're bigger than what was on this tank originally. So they're easier to read. I've got an air chuck here. This one actually had two air chucks, but I had to put an air release valve because you don't want these things to explode on you. They just keep pumping up. And then this is a water bottle. So if I hear any leaks, um, when I fire this thing up, I can spray down the connections with soap and water. And then you just see which connection is bubbling. And you need to know, that'll give you um, the information you need to know which fitting is leaking. So, uh, I'm going to test it out and I'll let you know how it goes. I'll be back. Come back YouTube. Um, got it all plumbed up. Got it conjoined with this air compressor. Things seem to be going good. Um, holding at 121, 22 pounds there. And um, I did have a problem. I had to change that air chuck. I had a bad air chuck. Luckily, I had enough parts left over between these three compressors to get the job done. So it's time to pack these away in the garage. So we went from a 22 gallon system that leaked really bad. It took like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to pump up. It's one that pumps up in like two minutes and holds air. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you could donate, that would be cool. I'll flash my PayPal and my address. If you want to send cash or checks or anything, work gloves. I need a new grinder. I got a dead grinder. And I'll just keep coming at you with these videos if you think they're good. And uh, hit me up with comments, questions, and. Hope it did a good job of explaining 
this process of uh, adding extra air to your air system so you can power your air tools longer. Alright, peace.